Uh, we're going to start off with the most improved player. Unfortunately, he's not here, but we're still going to acknowledge him in any case, and Chris is going to keep the award for him. This year's most improved player, he was a punter, he was a running back, he was a returner, Mr. Luca Obani. Give him a big hand. He's not here today, but we will get the award to him, number 34. Rookie of the year. We had about five guys that were true rookies. They, because the way we do it in the junior program, you must not have played CJAP before, and you should have played junior for the very first time. There were some guys that played CJAP and were playing with us for the first time, so they didn't qualify. But the guys that never played junior before were part of this whole system. This young man, from the first day he came into camp, he, he impressed all the coaches. Yeah. He started off as a running back, Take care. and because of some injuries, prior injuries he had, he switched to receiver. But the, you see, the unfortunate thing about players are, they, they say to themselves, I don't want to play this position, I want to play that position. Now, think yourself as a coach. You coaches know what I'm talking about. He doesn't want to be a running back. He wants to be a receiver. So what do you do as a coach? You give him the short, flat passes, and he becomes a running back. You know what I'm saying? It's very simple. So we'd like to call Mr. Alexander Aristille, Rookie of the Year. And I just want to let you know, he was also nominated in the QJFL as one of the Rookies of the Year, but unfortunately he did not win it in that category in the junior program. Wow, hard decision. Right, coaches? Very hard. Hey, coaches? <laughs> it's, a, it's an inside joke. It, 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 it was not a hard decision, really, because we started off with eight O-linemen. Would you believe? We started off the season with eight O-linemen, and we finished the season with one O-lineman. Everybody else that came on the O-line was from the defense. So it was very, it became a very easy decision, even though this young man played a complete season. We were all totally impressed with him this year. Last year he had some injury problems, but this year he stood up to what we asked him to do. Mr. Kevin Packin you. And also, also he was not, he was selected as -line, one of the O-line men in the QJFL for 2009. We have two defensive awards. I'd like to call Mr. Alan Ramsey as defensive coordinator to help me with these awards. All right, defensive lineman of the year. Defensive lineman of the year, Mr. Andrew Power. MVP, defensive MVP for 2009. This gentleman, uh, this year around, the year before, he's a good player. He did everything we asked, but he had an attitude. Okay. This year around, this guy turned everything around. He was a leader on the field. He did everything I asked him to do. He played linebacker. He played D-line. And he also said he could play safety. He started out a year before playing wide receiver for us. One thing you got to understand about in the junior program, gentlemen, we played iron ball this year. 
We had players, we had all the star players, all the players that could play, that in a key position showed up to practice. And these guys gave us everything. We came up short, not because of lack of trying, but we came up short because lack of players. This gentleman, I'll tell you something, you're gonna see him in the future. All the players that played for us, you will see them somewhere. I'm not taking away from the ability that all of them gave us. But this gentleman, I guarantee you, if he keeps it up, you're gonna see him one day. Charles Conway. We would like to call this young man to come on stage because this young man is not only the MVP offense, but he is the team MVP. When he was not there, we knew he was not there. When he was there, you know why he was there. The reason, eh? The reason why we had spectators. Five touchdowns in his very first game I think two more along the way than the injury bug set in. And unfortunately, it set in at the wrong time when we were about to play our dreaded enemy, Shadagay, and then had to go and play against Ottawa without him. Without him in the backfield, we became a mediocre uh, running team. So I would like to call Team MVP Offense and Team MVP Player of the Year for 2009, Mr. Chris McCarthy. He already started to spend the bursary money on the beer. He already started to spend the bursary money on the beer, right? 